going on guys welcome back this is Tyler from Pro Physique and it's Wednesday so you know what that means it is prep update time yes so check-ins are on Wednesday and here we are we are four weeks in so 16 weeks to go and we have hit another plateau so what that means is weight loss has stopped, right? Haven't really gone down. If anything, I actually went up a little bit um, over the week. Nothing too crazy, just like 0. 0.6 pounds. Um, weight is still fluctuating like crazy throughout the week. Uh, I actually got all the way back up to about 193 throughout the week when I had weighed in at 190. Um, so that's not too sure why that is right now. Um, my sodium intake is normal or it's, you know, it's even throughout the days. Um, uh, fibers, not really all over the place. Stress is little. Sleep is good. Lots of energy in the gym. Shouldn't really have any inflammation at this point from training. Calories aren't low enough. So, you know, Taking away all the factors that would contribute to a lot of fluctuations, I'm still a little unsure of what's going on, but what really matters is the week-to-week check-ins. So, again, don't let those you know fluctuations really mess with your head, because they can, especially if you're if you're trying to diet down and and you're jumping three pounds over what you checked in with, you know checked in at the week before. Um, and you know, I came right back down for check-in. You know, it wasn't the drop that I was hoping for or wanting, but I'm still right where, you know, we're in a good spot. So calories got cut, cardio went up. So we're now sitting at 235 grams of protein, 230 grams of carbs, and 65 grams of fat on training days. Off days, 200 grams of carbs, 235 protein, and 60 grams of fat. And then there is one refeed day in there. So that's all the way up to... 320 grams of carbs, 60 grams of fat, and about 205 grams of protein. So protein does come down a little bit just to make room for for those extra carbs, and we typically keep fat the same. Uh, it's just a great little day to for that mental break. And I think you know we'll start to go, we'll start to get into the point where you know hung, I'll start to feel hunger a little bit throughout the day. Um, I start shifting my focus to maybe a lot more calorically dense foods. So I think we're gonna see a big uptake in veggies, maybe some fruit, uh, things like that. Things that I'm just gonna be able to get a lot of volume out of, um, but they're not gonna have super high calories um, that go along with it. So something like uh, spaghetti squash is another great one. Um, I always really like having some potatoes uh, in my diet, obviously uh, veggies, um, you know, eggs, egg whites, you know, just focusing on calorically dense foods that are going to hopefully keep me somewhat full in between meals. Uh, you know, drink some BCAs in between meals kind of make me feel full uh, and just kind of help with recovery and uh, the anti-catabolism of BCAs as well. So, I mean, we're four weeks into this, 16 weeks to go to my first show and about 20, 18, 19 weeks to my second show. And, you know, it's not like calories are super low, but, you know, four weeks in, I went from three, you know, the 300. No, yeah. I can't remember. I, I can't even remember where I started. But I probably ran on 330, 340. And, I mean, we're already down to 230 within four weeks. Um, there's something like that. I, sorry, I can't quite remember where I started at, but I mean, we're looking at 30, you know, roughly 30 grams of carbs, uh, every time that we cut. And so I think I just wanted to reiterate, reiterate the importance of, of having that long off season and really just building up your carbs because they can go quite quickly. Um, when you start a dieting phase, you know, you, you spend, all this time, you know, slowly building your calories up, you know, putting on muscle and trying not to put on any body fat, uh, you know, enjoying yourself every once in a while, but trying to always have that goal in mind that you are going to be stepping on stage at some point. 
and you start dieting and within four weeks, I mean, you've <laughs> dropped 60 grams of carbs, 80 grams of carbs already. Um, so, you know, make sure that you do spend that time in the off season building your food and you're going to be, you're going to be mighty happy that you did. Uh, so yeah, and then, so that's calories, uh, cardio. So we were at four times a week, 25 minutes of steady state. So we're just bumping that up to 30 minutes, four times a week. And then I still have an hour of hockey every week that's ending soon. So we'll probably implement, uh, some hit sprints to kind of make up for that loss of an hour of hockey a week. Um, just to make sure that we're, we're keeping the activity the same. Another thing I'm trying to focus on, I think I mentioned in last week's video is trying to increase my NEAT, right? So my non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So every Sunday I am taking about a 45 minute walk. My goal is to then also do that one, maybe two more times throughout the week. Um, it's nothing strenuous. It's quite a relaxed walk, but it gets me out of the house, gets me up and out of the chair, uh, just because I do now sit a lot more. Um, I'm not moving as much, so that at least gets me moving. And you know, that's something that you can really control um, throughout prep your neat. Uh, and so it, the, the importance of increasing that or at least keeping it up cannot be understated, um, especially as calories get lower. So, I mean, as you can see though, we're not getting crazy with the cuts of calories or the cardio. I mean, we're looking at, you know, five minutes each session a week, um, if, if we need to add, uh, and then, you know, roughly, you know, 15% of calories are being, um, cut. So, you know, we don't want to go, you know, 25, 30% or, you know, cut 600, 500, 700 calories every time, because before you know it, you're going to be left with very little calories. Um, and so you, we want that almost minimum threshold and find that minimum threshold so that we can take as small amount of calories as we need to induce change, right? So that's always the goal because the body is always going to adapt to whatever change that you make, right? So if you make a big change, well, you might lose weight for two, three, four weeks, but the body's going to adapt to that. So now you gotta make another change, right? And so if you're making those 500 calorie jumps every single time and you started at 25 to 3000 calories, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's gone in six cuts basically. So always want that minimum threshold of cuts when you are dieting. All right. Well, I think that's going to be everything for today, guys. Hopefully we can get the body moving, build some momentum with this latest cut. That's what I'm really hoping for to ride this out for the next few weeks. I think that would be, that would be ideal for me. I would really hope for that, but whatever happens, happens. Um, I'm not going to complain if we don't, well, I might complain to my wife a little bit, but it is what it is. We choose to do this. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more updates. If you have any questions regarding prep, my prep, anybody's prep, how to do prep, how to lose weight, how to lose fat, shoot me an email, leave a comment or leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Have a great Wednesday.